Hi everyone. In this video, we appear to fervently pray over the north, the west, the south, and the east. Apostle Joshua Selman will be prophesying over our lives, we will be declaring powerfully over our lives. Let your heart be opened to receive. God bless you and thank you. You are going to mention everything that has refused to hear you. Tell it is all right to not hear me, but this night, hear ye the word of the Lord. It's all right. I prayed from January till November, and I asked you to hear me, and you did not hear me. But now at Oasis Conference, hear ye the word of the Lord. Someone declare finances, hear ye the word of the Lord. My destiny, hear ye the word of the Lord. My liver, my kidney, hear ye the word of the Lord. My job, hear ye the word of the Lord. Someone is praying. Don't be silent. You're not wasting your time. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Welcome to Start Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verses 130, The entrance of thy word is that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. If God says you don't have a womb, then we'll join you and cry. But for as long as God has not spoken, listen, listen, as we begin to pray, everybody, you are going to carry your report in your mind and bring it before the judge of all the earth this is what life has said what do you say this is what my job has said what do you say this is what my health has said what do you say someone say father your word is final over my life say it again father your word is final over my life go ahead and begin to pray your word is final your word for my lifting final your word for my rising final your word concerning long life final your word concerning my prosperity final your word concerning my deliverance final someone pray Final. Final. By the hand of God. Final. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. It was customary for prophets in those days that when they came to stand before those who God sent, they never said, hear me. They will say, hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear ye. Because if you hear the man, the man is limited. Are we together? But it says, hear ye, including the earth. O earth, hear ye the word of the Lord. Can we pray for two minutes? You are going to mention everything that has refused to hear you. Tell it is all right to not hear me, but this night, hear ye the word of the Lord. It's all right. I prayed from January till November, and I asked you to hear me, and you did not hear me. But now at Oasis Conference, hear ye the word of the Lord. Someone declare finances, hear ye the word of the Lord. My destiny, hear ye the word of the Lord my liver my kidney hear ye the word of the lord my job hear ye the word of the lord someone is praying don't be silent you're not wasting your time hear ye the word of the lord hear ye the word of the lord hear ye the word of the lord Hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Pray for your children. Declare the word upon them. Declare the word of the Lord upon them. 
declared upon your ministry no smallness in the name of Jesus I will multiply them they will not be few I will glorify them they will not be small Don't be tired, pray. Now take up a lot of sovereign that get a record scottish. Ebra Catusco to break a devil like it. the word of the Lord in the name of Jesus hear ye the word of the Lord unbelief give way unbelief give way the master speaketh God Almighty speaking in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I hope you are not tired I'm going to lead you to do a prophetic action ah huh? you're going to face the north you're going to face the south you're going to face the east you're going to face the west and you're going to make declarations hear ye the word of the Lord that everything that must be drawn by the hand of God to step into your destiny wherever it is in the name of Jesus we call upon the fountains in the spirit it must locate you are you ready now I don't know which one is north and south from where I'm standing but find your north and south and east and west in any case in the name of Jesus hallelujah maybe you follow my direction anywhere I turn whether it's your east or my west the most important thing is the four cardinal points prophetically they must hear listen in Ezekiel 37 he says speak to the four winds and says oh wind breathe upon these that are slain are you ready now you're facing me whatever direction say father let your hand bring to my life every blessing every prophecy made for me meant for me in this season stretch your hands towards this direction and begin to pray Ah, prophetically may the hand of God gravitate towards my life may the hand of God gravitate towards my life someone who is tired and angry at where you are make sure you pray father let prophecy come let blessings come let liftings come by the Spirit of God all that it takes for my excelling in this season may your hand bring it to my life hallelujah are you ready we'll turn this way now wherever that means to you don't think you are being childish you just believe the simplicity and the foolishness of the prophetic say father I decree and I declare all that is made for me all that is meant for me gravitate towards my destiny open your mouth and begin to pray gravitate gravitate towards my life towards my destiny by the spirit I speak to the wind blow in the name of Jesus towards my life towards my destiny by the power of the Holy Spirit blow Blow! 
In the name of Jesus. Hear me. The Lord is ministering to me. There is someone by this prophetic act. Before this year runs. Property. God is going to bring it to your hand. And listen. If God does not speak to me. I have no business telling you what God did not tell me. In the simplicity. Listen. I will explain to you what you are doing. This is how Abraham took possession. He said, Abraham, lift your eyes. Turn northwards, southwards, eastwards, westwards, as far. Provided your eyes can see it. Whatever is yours in that direction comes to you. Now you are going to turn. Next position. Are you ready now? Say, O F, I decree my portion of inheritance my portion of lifting my portion of blessings locate me now go ahead and pray oh hear ye the word of the lord in the name of jesus by the hand of god the earth is a universal point of contact every man's feet touches the earth your helper's feet is on the earth your lifter's feet is on the earth God walks through man. Oh, earth, bring to my destiny the helpers of war. Bring to my destiny. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Are you ready? Turn to the final direction. Say, Father, I decree the favor you have planted. Let it locate me by your hand. Go ahead and pray. Favor, I call it forth. The help of men, access to resources, access to the hearts of kings by the hand of God. Let it come. Let it come. Let it come. The hand of God. The hand of God. The hand of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen, you can turn now. The Bible says, I told you it's a prayer meeting. The Bible says, the increase and the profit of the earth is for how many? All. Nobody truly owns land. Everybody met it here. That means everything God planted here, there is my portion there. Say my portion. Yeah. It says even the king is fed by that which comes from the field god is a god of portions it is not his will that men remain beggars forever if you don't believe what i'm saying just relax when i teach the one you believe you receive but as for this one if you don't believe it it will incapacitate your life in a way you cannot imagine can i tell you the truth god is a god of portions the concept of tipping people to keep them came from Laban's house. God never tips people to keep them. No. The, the pattern that was given from Abraham to Isaac was that after a while, God allocates your space in destiny and gives you dominion over that space. This is how God works. Listen to me. But when Jacob came to the house of Laban, Laban began to prosper and he used divination and he said if you let this man go so he said you know what I will keep appeasing you give you something small to keep you and at a point Jacob said leave me I need to go and establish myself this state is inconsistent with how God works with men but Laban refused and turned a man's destiny added over 20 years wastage to his life God is a God of portions when in the parable of the talents when he came and commended them 
what did he give them as rewards he allocated spaces in destiny you have been faithful you see the the lowest level of dominion is dominion and authority over things that is the lowest level of authority authority over things is the lowest like money physical we believe you are blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.